May 6th, 2020, Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter. First reading is taken from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 24 to chapter 13, verse 5a. Gospel is taken from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 2, verses 44 to 50. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Dominic Savio. Born in Italy and died at the age of 14. While he was studying to be a priest, he became ill and died. On his first Holy Communion Day, he wrote four promises in a little book. First, I will go to confession often. Second, I wish to sanctify Sundays and days of obligation in a special manner. 3. My friends shall be Jesus and Mary. 4. Death rather than sin. Yes, every Christian must think like Dominic Savio. I am reminded about a beautiful story of a rough bus driver. One day, as he was driving the bus roughly, all the passengers were holding their breath due to the rough driving. Meanwhile, a little girl sitting front side was so happy, clapping the hands and singing. When the bus reached the destination, passengers asked the child, How can you be so fearless? in the bus while we were all afraid. She said, why I should be afraid? My dad is driving the bus, so nothing will happen to me. This is what faith or believing in Jesus. We are able to accept Christ without any conditions. Am I able to build my life in the foundation of his word? that I have accepted with the faith? Believing in Jesus also means taking a strong stand for Jesus, being rooted and grounded in the person of Christ. Believing in Jesus means walking in the light as He is the true light and avoiding darkness. Believing in Christ means accepting to nurture in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Believing Christ means walking away from one's own selfishness. As Jesus came to witness light, every Christian is invited to follow the true light that is Jesus. When we accept the light, we need to follow Christ to remove all the darkness within us. In this materialistic world, many have turned their back to Christ. Many people disfigure Christ in order to humiliate Christianity. Many people say Christ and his gospel has nothing to do with them. Jesus says he is not to condemn those who do not believe. Yes, Jesus said, I have come to save them. Judgment is with the Father. Mission of Jesus is to save many souls for the kingdom of God. Dear brother, when you resist God, when you take people away from God, when you do not give space for Jesus and when you give up your faith, remember the words. When you do something to the little ones, you are doing it to Christ. Jesus came to us as a light. Remember that light we received at the time of our baptism. Allow that light to keep burning so that we may be counted with the holy men and women. And I pray, may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.